Hi there, this is Marissa from digitalscrapbook.com and I am working my way through the prompts for our 2023 Designer Madness. And in this video, I'm going to be working on some more complicated patterns here in Illustrator. And then I will eventually be bringing them over to Photoshop. So what I'm going to start out doing first is I have these illustrations that I made and I am going to drag here this first one in to Illustrator. I just dragged it in. It could be a JPEG, a PSD, it doesn't matter. And I am going to trace it here. I'm going to turn it into a vector. So if you don't have this window open, you'll find it here under Window Image Trace. Um, and I'm going to choose Color. And we don't need that many colors because I used a pretty um, limited number of colors when I was doing these. All right, so I'm just going to go ahead and trace these and see they recently changed how the image trace works and I haven't 100% figured it out. But that looks pretty good, so I'm just going to go with it. Image trace, I'm just going to expand this and I'm going to ungroup everything. Um, so I got all these files now, so now I can just go ahead and delete everything over here. And I think all the rest of this stuff, yeah is part of my koala. So now I have these, so I'm just going to save these, um, just this file here. So I have these for future use. Um, and then I guess we have to decide if, um, I see I'm supposed to make a large pattern and a busy pattern. Um, and so if we want to do, if I want to use all of these, because I have some butterflies as well that I made. So we got to just see here if we can arrange these in such a way. Um, let's shrink everything down. If we can arrange everything in a way that I don't know if I made quite enough to like really make like a nice, you know, sometimes you can make a really like random feeling pattern, but this doesn't necessarily feel like I have enough. Let's see here. Let's go here. Image. We what do we want? We want to make pattern, make pattern. Let's just kind of see what we got here. Um, see if we can make something. So let's see, I'm going to make the height a little bit bigger. And I think I'm going to decrease. No, I did the wrong thing. I said height and I did width. Okay, so I'm going to make the height bigger. I think I'm doing everything wrong. Let's start over. Okay. <laughs> I'm really good at math. Okay, 3.8. I'm going to make it a little taller. That's what I want to do. And then I want to make it a little bit skinnier. Um, and then let's see here. Do we want to, oh, I could do one of these. This could be funny. Okay. So this is just, this is just how your pattern's going to repeat here. Um, and then, you know what I should have done before we started this was put this stuff in a group so I could move it around more easily. We're going to move that there. And now we've got this cactus. She could move over a little bit. We've got this koala. This actually might be okay. Maybe we'll go for this. It's kind of, it's kind of random, but I mean, also fun. Okay, so I feel, I feel like that works out nicely. So I'm going to say done. All right, and then I'm going to go ahead and just hide that layer and make a new one, so I'm not messing around with my, um, with the layer where my pattern is. And I'm going to make this back here, and then I'm just going to select my pattern which is looking good. And I'm going to right click, say scale. Do we like that? I guess I'm supposed to make something. This is certainly a busy pattern. Um, no one could say it's not busy. And I say thumbs up. I like it. And I am going to export this so that we can make it into a paper in Photoshop. And now we've got to think of a something large to do. Um, let's see here. Let's see if we can figure something out. I kind of want to do maybe some like big painted X's. Um, let's see here. Do I have brushes in here? I don't really have any brushes. What's this look like? Um, no, that's not what I want. Um, okay. Let's look and see if we have what I have in mind here. I've got a bunch of brushes that I downloaded um, from the digitalscrapbook.com. So I'm kind of imagining an X like this, but maybe I want some, maybe some more. I feel like, are there some X's? I've got some in mind. 
that I have seen before. But maybe they are not here. Or else we could make some with some of these other paints. Or I could quick go paint some on my tablet. I feel like we have this on here. Let's have a look. All right, so this is kind of what I have in mind, but it's not exactly. So I'm going to download this um, template here. I'm going to open it up. Let's just move it here to the folder that we're working on because I want to remember where I got this from. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to bring this into Photoshop first of all. And what I want are some of these. So I'm just going to come here. I'm going to I'm just cutting it out and then I'm going to paste it. I'm going to cut this one out and paste it. And then I'm going to rotate this one like 45 degrees or whatever. And then I'm going to rotate this one. There we go. Okay, so that's about kind of what I'm looking for. But now we need to make some more so we can have a little variety. So I'm just going to do this a bunch of times. Maybe I'm going to look for some that are a little bit longer. Let's just cut out here. We maybe want like six or something. Um, how many have I done? Okay, let's go ahead and hide this so we can see what we're doing. Let's just rotate all of these. And we've got one, two, three, four. You know what? We can make a whole bunch easily this way. Okay. So we're going to do this, and then we're going to, I'm going to duplicate them, and then I'm going to just rotate these all around like that. Okay. So now we can bring these up like this. Okay. Now we're going to see, because sometimes when you bring brushes in like these into Illustrator, I'm going to try to do this in Illustrator. Um, we'll see how it goes. Okay, so now we have X's. So I'm just going to go ahead and save this in case I want it. I'm just going to save it as X. And then I'm just going to merge um, these here and copy them. And I'm going to paste them here in Illustrator. And I'm going to go ahead and trace these as well. They're going to look a little different. I'm going to lose um, some of that transparency. But I don't know that I mind exactly because it's just easier to work with these things in Illustrator. And I'm just going to make sure all the white pieces here are re removed because I don't want those there. And then I'm going to just save all of these as a group because some of them have little pieces that I want to keep. And then this paper, this pattern is supposed to be large. I don't know if these are large enough. Let's make them a little bigger. It's a nice thing in Illustrator is you don't have to worry about making things bigger or smaller um, because you're working. It's a vector program. So the size doesn't, uh, isn't the same as it is in like Photoshop, which is um, raster based pixels uh, where you can run into issues uh, when you're resizing things. Okay, let's see here. It looks like I, okay, I know what we'll do. We'll just rotate some of these. So I'm going to copy this one and just rotate it around so I can finish out my pattern. Um, and then maybe copy this one and rotate that one a little bit. Okay, so now we've got this pattern here. We're going to select all of it and come up here to Object, Pattern. Let's make it. Okay, and what are we doing here? Do we want to, I'm in this problem with making that pattern so big as now I can't see it. Okay, so I think we want to alternate it this way, but you can. Okay, that looks good. Um, let's see here. I think we need some more width. So I'm going to do it right this time, put it in the right place. Is that wide enough? I'm looking here. So you can see that this space here is not the same as like this space here. So we need to make this a little wider. 
All right, that's looking good. And so then we look at this space here. Um, so I want to make it maybe add a little height as well just to try to even out my pattern so it looks the same. Sometimes it's hard to tell, especially because I've made one. That this X looks out of place. Where is this one? Is it this one? I think it's this one. I'm going to move that. I don't want this because it's kind of a, they're messy X's, so I don't really want them to be like too perfect. Let's see how this looks. I'm going to say done. I'm going to make a new layer. Hide that one. Put this one here and then select my pattern. All right, that's pretty good. I don't know if there's too much space here or if I'm just going to make it smaller. I know I said to make a large one, but I don't always have to follow the directions. I think I like that. Okay, so now I am going to, there is kind of uneven this pattern. So I have the pattern selected and I'm going to hold down the, the like the, I think it's the tilde sign on my keyboard. I'm going to hold that and then I'm pushing the arrow as well, the left arrow. You can't see this because I recently changed my, I think the size of my pattern of how much is moving. So it's moving like infinitely small amount, but you can see it is moving here. So if we wait a long time, it's eventually going to move over <laughs> and the spacing will be a little bit better. Um, I just changed the increments that my keyboard works on because I was doing something really small and now I just have to wait like a year when I'm doing these patterns. Okay, there we go. We got it over. And I'm going to do it up and down too. So here, bear with me while we wait another minute here while I move it. I don't think I have to move this one too much. Um, okay, that looks good. So I'm going to go ahead and save this. This is paper number four. Um, okay, so now we'll see because we can't just checking out how this like weird kind of, I think this is going to be okay. Um, obviously, it has a different look than those X's I had at the beginning, um, which, you know, I might try to make a pattern with, but it's just much harder to do it in Photoshop. Um, you just can't, you just can't resize it as much. You know, we could, um, we could like merge. Okay. We could make one in here. Should we try just merge these X's together? And then we can compare which one looks better. So basically when I make a pattern like this in Photoshop, I know they have a pattern maker. I've never figured out how to use it. <laughs> um, so usually when I do things like this, I'll just like make it. Um, and so we'll just line these up and then I'll just like duplicate it a lot of times. Um, Let's see here. Okay, I'm going to line these up like this, and then I'm going to align them and then distribute them. Well, that didn't work out evenly. Um, okay, and so then I would go ahead and I would just duplicate these, move them over, and I would probably like rotate them around. If we just turn them upside down, then we don't have to do a lot of work. Um, but what I am going to do move these down, move this one up, um, get them all, I'm going to merge these, I'm going to merge these. So now we have two, two rows. See this one's kind of going to be the one going off and I'm going to align them there and I'm going to duplicate them again and to be fancy we can rotate them around so they're just, they vary a little bit. Move this one over here that one there and I'm going to do it all one more time. All right, so now we can go ahead and align these. So I'm going to center them and I'm going to distribute them that way. And then I'm going to, so now I made that one too. So now I made this pattern twice <laughs> and we can see which one we like better. We can save this as paper number four. Um, and I think I maybe want to do this yellow and then maybe black on top. Um, let's see here. Make it a little bit lighter. Let's 
let's see here. I'm going to give this more. This maybe needs like more texture. All right. So anyway, we got that. Oh, you know what? Maybe I'll do this white. Uh, no. <laughs> no. Um, this yellow is really bright here. Um, it's a problem. Let's see, did I export that? Yeah. So I also have this pattern here. Um, well, I like that one too. This one looks a little messier. And this one looks, you know what? I think I actually like this one better. Um, and I'm going to try the white again. Okay, I like that. Did we do black and white? Oh, I've already forgotten what we did. No, I didn't do black and white. Okay, I'm going to do this one black and white. Um, there we go. Oh boy, that looks cool. Okay, <laughs> I'm happy about that. All right, so I'm going to save this here, and then let's see. Oh, we had that busy pattern that we made. Okay, let's get that in here. And then we can add that in as well. This one will probably have a white background because the pattern is busy, and that is how I like to do it. So we'll get our white here, give this some texture, and I will say that is fine with me. Um, all right, and then we'll add these papers into our collection here and see how we're doing. I still have some more papers I need to make um, probably in another video here. I don't want to make anything too long. <laughs> Oh, I really like how that black and white one turned out. I'm really pleased about that. Um, so I like that. And then we've got this guy here. We'll put this here. All right. We'll probably, oh, no, that's not even a, what's happening. Okay. I clipped the wrong thing. Okay. So there we go. So now we've got our papers are kind of coming to life here. Um, so I'm going to pause here for now. I'll be back making some more papers. Um, thanks so much for watching this video. Have a great day.